increasing your risk of cancer, it, let's say, for example, breast cancer, it, it becomes really important that we support that lymphatic flow of the breast tissue. And this is applicable for men and women. Men, you know, have 25% um, cases of breast cancer. So it's it's not gender specific. But for women particularly, one of the things that we find in the lymphatic world is there will be, when we scan, this is really unique, when in my training, we do thermal imaging scans. And so before we would treat a patient, we do an infrared scan. And we would see the areas of inflammation that shows up red and then really intense inflammation that shows up white. Well, when we would scan women that would come into the clinic that either had breast cancer or had um, a kind of pre-condition, uh, it's considered a more fibro fibrotic cystic type of condition called um, fibrocystic breast syndrome, those women were primarily wearing underwire bras. And we could literally see on the scans, like the wire itself, that line would be a white line on the scans. That tells you a lot about some of the everyday um, activities and decisions that women make, like what type of bra are we wearing? Are we wearing underwire or wireless? The research shows that wearing wire bras directly constricts the lymphatic system. So it causes an impairment in the flow. And I actually created this whole course on educating women about breast health because we don't get that information from our OBGYN. We don't, our moms don't know that. So we don't get that passed on to us about, you know, when you first go and get your bra, your first bra fitting, that that could lead to potentially increasing your risk of breast cancer. So one of the unique features of the lymphatic system that most of us don't realize, and in fact, the whole body, we can be walking around with cancer cells from infancy to, you know, our last breath. And the variable, one of the many variables, is a, a fully functionally optimized lymphatic system in helping eliminate those cancer cells. So when we look at the lymphatic system and its role in cancer, cancer development particularly, we're looking at years, many times years and years, sometimes a decade and a half of lymphatic overwhelm and accumulation of lymphatic fluid, which is the primary fluid of the lymphatic system. We see that buildup, that actually deters the immune response, and it also helps create that environment where the cancer can sometimes take root. Inflammation is, is, is more of an acidic environment. And so when we're looking at how do we minimize the cancer risks or cancer cell accumulation in the body, we cannot neglect and, and turn a blind eye to the lymphatic system. It is at the core of that